Finally, the construction of Jeddah Tower has resumed from where it had been stopped for about five years. Now the Jeddah Tower, set to claim the title of the world's tallest skyscraper, is back in action. But what were the reasons behind this lengthy pause, and is there a real hope of completing it this time? What challenges might it face during its construction? Stay with us till the end of the video, as where we'll explore these questions and more. The Jeddah Tower, formerly known as the Kingdom Tower, is an ambitious skyscraper project in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The tower's design comes from Adrian Smith, who was also the designer behind the iconic Burj Khalifa. It has been designed to reach a height of at least 1,008.2 meters, although the exact height is kept secret during development, much like the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. If completed as planned, it will surpass the Burj Khalifa by 180 meters, making it the tallest building or structure in the world. The tower is part of a larger development known as Jeddah Economic City, which is envisioned to span three phases. This project covers a massive area of 2.0 square miles of waterfront land, located about 12 miles north of Jeddah's port city. Situated in the northern part of Jeddah, the Jeddah Tower is the focal point of the Jeddah Economic City project. This tower will cover a vast area of 530,000 square meters and will include both commercial and residential spaces, spanning 57 million square feet. What's the purpose behind its construction? The Jeddah Tower isn't just a skyscraper, it has grander ambitions. It's not a secret that Saudi Arabia heavily relies on oil, but with oil reserves running low, the kingdom is eyeing a shift towards a more diversified economy, just like its neighbor Dubai. This shift includes boosting tourism, giving people a compelling reason to visit Saudi Arabia, while also giving a significant push to the Saudi economy. Plus, it's creating numerous job opportunities, making it a win-win for everyone. In September 2023, the Middle East Economic Digest, MEED, broke the news that Jeddah Economic City had restarted the project. They issued a request for proposals, seeking a contractor to finish building the towering structure, which stands over 1,000 meters tall. Interestingly, they invited 14 construction contractors from the region, Europe, and China to submit their bids within three months. Originally, it was estimated to cost $1.2 billion to build the tower, but after a five-year pause in construction, this tower is destined to be the shining jewel in the crown of the $20 billion Jeddah Economic City Development Project. So what were the reasons behind its pause? The construction of the Jeddah Tower was stopped in the past for several reasons. It began in 2013, but it faced many problems along the way. One significant issue was the arrest of former chairman of Bin Laden Group, Bakr Bin Laden, who owned the company building the tower in 2017 during a corruption investigation. By that time, the tower had already reached 50 stories. There were also political problems and the impact of the pandemic, which caused them to stop construction in 2018. And now, what is the current status of the Jeddah Tower project? In the past five years, the Jeddah Tower hasn't gotten any taller than the 63 floors it reached back in 2017. Construction suddenly stopped, and it's been stuck at that height. The plan was for it to be a towering 252 stories, making it much taller than Dubai's Burj Khalifa, which is currently the world's tallest building. If it were finished, Jeddah Tower would be as tall as three stacked Eiffel Towers. But right now, it's still a long way from that goal. Recent pictures of the tower show an empty construction site, with only about a quarter of its planned height completed, standing at around 250 meters tall. What are the possible challenges it might face during construction? Constructing the Jeddah Tower might face several hurdles. First, it's going to cost a lot more than before, and getting all that money can be tough. Then, building something so tall and unique can be tricky. Making sure it's safe is a big concern too. The shape of the tower is designed to reduce the wind load, which increases with height. Its tapering wings are an aerodynamic shape to reduce structural loading due to wind. It is a similar shape to the Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai, which also has quite a stiff shape. Delays might happen because of bad weather or other problems. Getting all the materials needed can also be hard, especially when supply chains have issues. Rules and environmental standards must be followed, 
which can be complicated because of the tower's size and location. Managing the big workforce and keeping them safe is a must. As in Saudi Arabia, some laborers may not have access to all the necessary facilities or enjoy the same benefits as others. Ensuring fair treatment and proper conditions for all workers is crucial for a successful and ethical construction process. Public opinions and politics can affect the construction, causing changes or slowdowns. Using the latest technologies can be challenging and economic ups and downs may also play a role. To tackle these issues, a careful plan and close attention are necessary during the construction of the Jeddah Tower. Will Jeddah Tower overcome Burj Khalifa as the new king of skyscrapers? Currently, Burj Khalifa holds the title of the world's tallest skyscraper, soaring above all others. It's an iconic structure located in Dubai, UAE, and offers breathtaking views from its observation deck. But now, let's talk about Jeddah Tower, a challenger in the race for the sky. The Jeddah Tower isn't just about height, it's a city in the sky. This mixed-use marvel will have it all. A luxurious hotel, plenty of office space, service departments, high-end condos, and even the world's highest observation deck on the 157th floor. Imagine standing 2,187 feet above the ground with views like no other. But there's more. The first five floors will be a shopping paradise, perfect for retail therapy. From the 6th to the 90th floor, it's all about office spaces that reach for the sky. If you're looking for a luxurious place to live, the 94th to the 114th floors will have 500 apartments, some even adorned with gold. For those seeking the ultimate experience, the upper floors, from 115 to 156, will host the Four Seasons Hotel. With nearly 200 rooms, multiple restaurants, and various amenities, it promises to be heavenly. To get you up and down this towering structure, Jetta Tower will feature one of the world's most advanced elevator systems. There will be 59 elevators, including 54 single-deck and 5 double-deck elevators, plus 12 escalators. The elevators to the observatory will be a bit slower, traveling at 10 meters per second in both directions to ensure a smooth and comfortable ride. So, while Burj Khalifa currently wears the crown, Jeddah Tower is gearing up to be a groundbreaking architectural marvel. The battle for the title of the world's tallest skyscraper is on. But here come the big questions. When will this enormous project finally reach completion? Can Jeddah Tower truly surpass the mighty Burj Khalifa and claim the title of King of Skyscrapers? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting updates.